guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sophia. If you are new, hello, please subscribe. Today's video is going to be my summer essentials video. I really wanted to film this because since it is summer, there are so many makeup products that I usually put away that are more summer products that you guys don't really see me use in the fall and that kind of thing. So I really wanted to share this video with you guys because my makeup does change a lot in the summer, especially where I live. It gets over 100 degrees pretty much every single day. So I don't really like wearing a full face just because I feel it dripping off of me. So I really wanted to make this video. There are so many holy grail products in this video that I just really want to share with you guys. I'm super excited to film this video. I've never done a summer essentials video. So if you guys want to see what my summer essentials are, Let's go. I have my little bin full of makeup that I just want to share with you guys. There are so many makeup products in here that I've just been loving and that are summer essentials for me. So I'm going to go ahead and just start. I'm going to start with the way that I apply my makeup. So first up, e.l.f. Cosmetics Beauty Shield Primer. So I actually just got sent this in PR about a week ago, but I've been using it every single day. It is so, so good. It's a primer that creates a lightweight base layer that blurs the look of fine lines and smooths makeup. I completely agree with that this also has SPF 50 in it which is amazing especially for summer you get a really really nice pump on the product and when you pump it out it is like a skin tone look as you guys can see right here and then when you blend it out it just looks like that this does remind me of like a benefit professional type situation where it does really sink into the pores and the fine lines and blurs it and makes it look really really great I really do love this because it does have the SPF 50 in it I usually wear SPF every single day and this is really nice because it's a primer SPF in one I've been wanting to try the Tatcha pore one with SPF in it as well but that's like $70 and this is elf so this is way more affordable and I've just been really loving it I've been wearing it every single day as for like another primer situation I always love to spray my face with mist like you guys know this is definitely one of my favorite ones this is the iconic London water mist in the original this is what the product actually looks like when it goes down it just is like shimmer and then mist and then like when it's mixed it looks just like a shimmer bomb I like to spray this all over my face all over my body wherever I feel like I want to just look like a glowy sensation these are pretty affordable but you can also make your own at home like I did with this old fix plus and then I just put a highlighter in it and it still gives you that same shimmery effect um, I will say I really like this shade though the pinky shades are more for me I use this when I you know first go in with makeup I also like this because I love liquid highlights and I love applying them underneath to give a really pretty natural base however liquid highlights can look very 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 cakey and feel thick and the mist doesn't feel thick it just feels like a very pretty natural wash of shimmer on you and it's just absolutely amazing I highly recommend these I know MAC cosmetics came out with one so just depending on which brand you like or if you want to try iconic London this one moving on to foundation okay literally you guys are always asking me what my holy grail foundations are and what foundations i love i actually have three foundations now these foundations are all high end but there's like a 20 something a 30 something and then i want to say a 40 to 50 dollar one so they're pretty much like within a 30 dollar range but i am giving you guys three different options i do have some drugstore ones i'm kind of looking right now at my drugstore foundation case and i'm not really seeing one that is like pick me um I just love these foundations especially for summer because they are tried and true and tested in this heat so I'm gonna start with the less expensive one this is a ride or die holy grail foundation for me this is the Clinique beyond perfecting this is in the shade breeze 0.5 it is the lightest shade this has a doe foot applicator which is absolutely amazing and easy especially for summer you just put it all on and then blend it out you can pick the coverage very very easy I also love this foundation because it has a technology in it that actually will match your skin tone and kind of like 
manipulate this foundation to really match your skin and look really pretty also i love this because it is not a matte formula it's a really natural satin dewy foundation and it looks amazing on the skin i have oily combo skin so i do like to set this with some powders i will be talking about in a second but i just love this foundation i've gone through two bottles of this this is the third bottle of it so that just kind of shows you guys i do really use this every single day i love this for more of like a work day as well because it just is absolutely gorgeous and it is a concealer foundation so i do like to apply it underneath the eyes and then just do a little bit of highlighter especially when i'm going to work the next foundation is the estee lauter double wear nude cushion foundation this is what the bottle looks like i am in the shade 1N2E Crew. This foundation is a couple years old, I believe. It came out a few years back, and I picked this up last year, and I'm just obsessed with this foundation. It is so, so pretty. This is a more less coverage than this one. This one, I'm going to say, is medium, and you can build it to eh, below a full. Not full full, but you can build this, and it's really pretty. This one is definitely a medium to lighter foundation. I like to apply this foundation just right in the center, and then I blend it out, and it has like a cushion applicator. However, mine broke. That's the one thing that I do not like about this foundation. Let me turn off Instagram. So one thing I do not like about this foundation, I wish the packaging was different just because the top of the cushion does break and they say to blend this out with the cushion, but I always just use a beauty blender or a brush. It does twist up, but mine is busted and broke and I don't want to waste the product on this because like I said, this foundation is around the $30, $35 range. So it is a more expensive foundation. However, it is so, so good. The last foundation is the YSL foundation. Now, this is the Touche Eclat All-in-One Glow Foundation. This is actually more of like a BB foundation, I want to say. It doesn't, it's not really a BB cream, but it's not really like a foundation. It gives a really, really gorgeous, dewy finish. It's actually what I'm wearing right now on the skin. It's absolutely beautiful. I know on camera it's probably not picking it up, but you can kind of still see my skin peeking through, which is what I really love about this because you can wear this on a full glam day or you can wear this on just a beach day where you just want a very sheer wash of color to the skin. The other thing that I do love about this foundation is it does have SPF. So with a primer and then with a foundation, foundation with SPF you're really making sure that you're protecting your skin this foundation does have a pump which is amazing because it's just very easy to work with and apply I like to apply this with a brush and a beauty sponge just depending on the coverage that I want YSL has a really good range of colors of this as well so you definitely can find the perfect shade for you next up is concealer now for concealer I actually have a few that I wanted to share with you guys um, since it is summer and you know you want more of like a light airy pretty look um, I'm definitely loving the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. I have the shade Very Fair. This is what the concealer um, tube looks like. They did come out with their new one that's launching soon that I will be picking up. I love this concealer. I hated it at first and I just... I think it's because I was so used to Shape Tape, the coverage of it, that I was like, oh, wait, why? But now that I have used this and tried this, I'm obsessed with it. It is seriously one of my holy grail concealers besides Shape Tape. I love this because it isn't as high coverage, but it's so hydrating. This is more of like a medium coverage concealer. So if you have a lot of pigment underneath your eyes in dark circles, I would highly recommend going in with like a peach color corrector. This is the Revlon one. It's so good. And then this on top, and this will give you really great coverage. This is so hydrating, so you don't feel cakey underneath your eyes, and you don't feel like your under eye is cracking. This does not crease as well. This is just an amazing concealer. If you guys haven't tried it, I highly recommend it. The Too Faced Born this way line is out of this world I have another product that I will talk about from this line but it's awesome and then the last concealer is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I like this for more of a glam day because it is very dry, but it is a really great concealer. I don't need to talk about this because everyone probably already has this. If you're watching this, I'm sure you already own this, but Tarte Shape Tape. Bomb. So another cream product I want to talk about, this is the Chanel Soleil Tan Date Chanel. I just started using this 
like religiously this year. I've had this for about a year in my collection and last summer I never ever used this. Um, if you ask me why, it's just because I felt like it looked too orange on my skin and I was using this completely wrong. Duo fiber brush like this and just like blend it out and try to contour with it but this shade you don't want to contour with. You definitely want to use this as a bronzer. Um, so now how I use this, like you guys have probably been seeing in my Instagram tutorials, is I take a Day Out Beauty sponge and I just lightly tap it and then I go in where I contour. However, I use this more like a bronzer, not a contour. It's definitely more of a bronzer for me all over the skin. It is so, so gorgeous. I'm seriously obsessed with this. Oh my god, it's beautiful. It just melts into the skin. It looks absolutely gorgeous on my bronzer and contour lately. I haven't been doing like a very like chiseled heavy hand like I usually do because it is summer. I do want more of just a nice blown out bronzed look and this makes it so easy to do. I highly recommend this Chanel product. Chanel products are really expensive, but I think this was only like 50 some dollars, which actually isn't that bad because you do get a lot of product and it's bomb. Next up, we are talking about setting powders. I have three holy grail setting powders here that I wanna talk about, and then I also have a powder foundation I will talk about. First one I wanna talk about is the Too Faced Born This Way Ethi ethereal light setting powder i have talked about this so much on my channel i've gone through once again i think two tubs of this it is so 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 pretty it's what's on my skin right now i'm just as obsessed with this um i've been using this ever since it came out i love that you have the little top right here so you can close it when you're traveling and product doesn't get everywhere i really appreciate this um it's a gorgeous translucent setting powder you have no flashback and it just does the job it does the job next up for setting powders this is a more new setting powder this is the hourglass mineral veil setting powder now this setting powder is a little bit different than the Too Faced one as in the packaging like you guys can see um, it doesn't have a top you really have to shake this to get the product out I wish that the packaging had a top and I wish that it was just packaged different because I like really have to shake it to get product out which I mean it's fine um, it's not the worst packaging but I feel like it could be a little bit better the thing that I love about this hourglass setting powder is how finely milled it is they probably sifted this like a million times to get the perfect finely milled powder it is so pretty it literally blurs the skin and looks absolutely gorgeous hourglass is more expensive so it is going to be an investment piece in your makeup collection but i promise you you guys you will love it last setting powder this is the becca hydra mist setting powder now this is nothing like what i have in my collection um it has a little top here and then you like pop it open and then you have a net to get the product out with either a damp beauty blender or a powder brush i love this because it literally feels like water on your skin and it feels like your skin is just sucking up the water and staying hydrated i like to use this more as a finishing or more as a touch-up powder on the go when I need my skin to look more refreshed if that makes sense I like using this with a once again damp beauty sponge and I really like to press it into the t-zone and like underneath the eyes to just help refresh the skin so for the powder foundation this is the covergirl vitalist healthy elixir um, this is in the shade Classic Ivory. Now, this powder foundation is so good. It's actually what I use to set the rest of my face today. It reminds me so much, so much of the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Powder. That powder is so good, but it is so expensive, so I never repurchase it because... I mean, it's like a $50 powder and it's just very expensive. Um, but this reminds me so much of it. I would say this is a very close dupe to that, if not a duped. Um, it just blends so beautiful on the skin. It is a silky, 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 silky smooth powder foundation and it just blends like a dream. If you guys are looking for a powder foundation or a setting powder for all over the face this is the way to go it's drugstore it's flawless and i just am obsessed with this cover girl killed it with this so the first bronzer is the hourglass diffused bronze light bronzer i've talked about this so much on my channel so i'm not going to talk a lot about it it's the best bronzer i've ever tried um 
It has their ambient lighting powder marbled through it with a bronzer. Um, these don't swatch that well because it is a marble effect. You really need to use your brush to see the true color. It's the bronzer I'm wearing today, and it's the bronzer I wear every single day no matter what. I always will top this off on my skin. As you guys can tell, my pan is showing. I have never hit pan on a blush or on a bronzer my entire, entire life. And I've hit pan on this. I'm definitely going to be repurchasing it. This is just my favorite bronzer I've ever tried. Next up, I like this more as a contour bronzer. This is the Marc Jacobs Tantastic Omega Bronzer. And this is absolutely gorgeous. This is a very pretty contour cool tone bronzer like you guys can see here this is limited edition so if you want it you really need to pick it up now for my skin i have very fair skin so i use this as a contour i don't really use this to bronze the skin if you are darker than me this would be a absolutely beautiful bronzer on you but for me personally i like to use this as a contour for blush i have a couple i want to talk about the first one is mac peaches i use this blush every single summer it is just the perfect perfect peachy blush that literally goes with any any look it is so gorgeous it's a matte blush so since it is matte you can just pair it with anything it's the perfect tone of peach let me tell you guys the perfect tone of peach it's what's on my skin right now and it just blends absolutely beautiful um, I love that it is matte so since the hourglass bronzer does have the diffused ambient powder running through it that has a little shine so using a matte blush with that bronzer looks absolutely gorgeous I love the shade peaches by Mac it's definitely definitely one of my holy grails and if you guys haven't tried this blush I highly recommend it that is NARS orgasm me oh my I've been wearing this blush every single day since they sent the new one to me oh, it's just absolutely pretty it's the best blush ever it gives such a pretty glow to the skin I love wearing this when I don't want to wear a whole ton of highlight because this does have gold infused in it like gold chunks that's what it looks like it is so pretty if you wear it on the skin you don't need to wear highlighter with it because like I said it does have that gold chunk going through it it's not like a chunk it's like a shimmer but you it's this one right here you just really don't need a highlighter with it because it really accentuates that area on your skin but it looks so pretty NARS orgasm definitely a summer essential for the highlighters I have three three that I want to talk about. Two are drugstore, one is affordable. I'm going to go ahead and just start with this one. This is Ofra Beverly Hills. Like you guys can see here, this thing is used and she is very abused. I use this every single day, um, whether it's to highlight the inner corners, to highlight my nose. I take this on travel trips. I use this all the time. It's an absolutely gorgeous highlighter wheel. Their formula is spot on buttery I just can't explain it you guys need to try these highlighters if you haven't um, they give such a pretty pretty pop and glow it's what I use to highlight the nose in my inner corners today and this just is amazing I love how it has all those different shades so you can really customize your highlight to any color that you and want these two are new in my life but seriously they're my holy grails I love them the formula reminds me exactly like Ofra's these are the pixie by Petra's um, subtle sunrise and delicate dew I love to mix all the shades together especially the two in this one this is delicate dew I love to mix it with this more like icier pink one and subtle sunset um, this is what's actually on my cheeks in this video oh, they are just absolutely gorgeous I swear you guys like these are so so buttery you only need a little tiny tiny bit of them and it goes such a long way I'm gonna swatch a couple on my hand so you guys are able to see but I mean Oh my god they are absolutely gorgeous they look beautiful I don't even know what they put in this but whatever they did they got some magic cooking up at Pixie they don't accentuate any pores any texture they just look absolutely stunning and I mean 
I live for these. I just have a couple eye products I want to talk about. The first one I want to talk about is the Too Faced Just Peachy Matte Palette. This palette is amazing. The mattes blend like a dream. The mattes are absolutely gorgeous. This is just the perfect summer palette. This is the only matte palette I would take when I travel. It just no words can explain. Too Faced did an amazing job with this palette. I'm wearing it on my eyes today and just the colors blend amazing. I use this every single day in my daily makeup routine. I highly recommend this palette. It is a Too Faced palette so it is about $45 but I swear you guys the quality in this palette you cannot beat. I know they came out with the white peach and people didn't like that one as much but this one I highly highly recommend. The last thing for eyes are the Stila Glitter and Glow Glitter and Shimmers. Any of these are the best. Oh my god, these are so easy to work with. I know everyone talks about them on YouTube, so I'm not going to talk about this too long, but you literally, all you do is and you're done and your glitter is good. You don't have any fallout. They're so easy to work with. This is in the shade Wonder Lust and it is absolutely gorgeous. It's what I'm wearing today. It's a gold and pink reflex and it is just bomb. Highly recommend these. You can get them in Ulta to get your points. So check these out if you guys haven't already. I'm just going to talk about one lip product because I've been wearing this lip product every single day day. This is the NARS Orgasm Lip Balm. Now, I know in the tube you're just like, what? Like, you put this on your lips every day? Yeah, I do. It does not look like what it looks like in the tube. I'm just rubbing a little bit on the back of my hand so you guys can see what I'm talking about. It makes your lips look beautiful. It gives your lips that just bitten look, if you guys know what I'm talking about. And then it just has that little hint of gold sheen running throughout it. So it looks literally like your lips are juicy. It is just the best lip balm. It is absolutely gorgeous. This is from NARS, so it is a little more expensive. But you guys, I swear it's worth it. It's all I've been using. Oh my god, it's so, so good. The last few products I want to talk about, I want to talk about some like an oil this is the Forsali rose gold elixir oh my god I love this stuff so much I use this once again every single day and I have gone through a couple of these it's just an oil based elixir with rose gold flakes and it's just absolutely gorgeous I like to wear this under makeup um, I like to use this to blend out makeup. I like to use it on my lips. It's just an absolutely gorgeous oil. It is more expensive. They do have it at Sephora now, so I highly recommend you guys just get a sample of it and try it. Last few products I want to talk about, setting and glowing sprays. So the first one is the Pixi um, Glow Mist. It's what I set my face with today. It's It reminds me kind of of the iconic London one, but it doesn't have as much of the shimmer in it. This just really gives your face a very pretty high hydrated glowy look from within. This is drugstore so it is affordable and it's absolutely amazing. And then another spray, this is the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. I've been using this more in a different way more lately. What I do with this now is I like to spray it all over the skin and then I take my damp beauty sponge and I actually press it into the skin and it feels amazing and it really really locks in everything which I really love and I'm just obsessed with this spray. So that is it for my summer essentials in the makeup world. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If any of you guys love these products let me know down below. Let me know what your guys' summer essentials are. I'm always down to pick up new makeup which you would know that if you watch me but that is it. I hope you guys have an amazing amazing day. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Leave me your comments below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!